Okay, testing. Sound. Testing. All right, today we're going to show you guys how to use the LibreOffice tool. I apologize for the background noise. It's the fan. It's pretty hot in here. The air we don't have air conditioning. It's an old house. Right. So anyway, so let's start right here. All right, this is your basic layout. This is the writing tablet pad, and all this is your top toolbar, and then this is your your basic tools right here. This one right here opens up a new a new document and then right here you can choose from any you know spreadsheet presentation drawing html xml form document master document and then you have all of your labels and business cards and you can even there's even a number of templates that you can choose from right to, to do whatever you need to do if this is an office document all right and this one here is your file box opens up your file box and you can pull any anything you want out from anywhere and saying as far as you want then you can work on it you can open it you can change that it's that uh, it's formatting right what type of document it is you're saying get all these microsoft word things and doc books and html and rtf documents and text encoded documents office open xml text template documents right broadband ebook documents there's i mean it goes on and on and on and on Right, it's even got Max Right Well or Max Right Pro documents. I mean, this thing is there's, as you can see, there's literally you know a whole bunch of them. Right now, uh, this is your save Control S. Right, and this is your you can send this document as an email, but you got to have an internet connection to do that. Right, and then this right here is your edit your file button, and this is your direct you know as a PDF button. Right, and then this is your print to your generic printer or to your page. This one gives you a page preview printer. Right, uh, oh, right. Oh, I closed it. I gotta open it back up. Right, and then right here, this is your spell and your grammaring checker. You can just push F7 or you can click this button. And this one is your auto spell check. And then this is your cut, your copy, your paste button. And then this is your paintbrush if you want to paint. You know, if you're making a picture or you want to paint something. Right, this is your undo. This is your redo. And right here is your hyperlink. Right, and then this is your table this inserts a table right you know you can auto format it or you can figure out whatever you want right and then right then this one here gives you you know how you can make it bigger smaller however you want to do for your table right and then this one right is your, your drawing functions and then this is your navigator right right here for your all of your different headings and images and all the objects bookmarks or whatever you know you have these little tools Right, you know, for this right here, anchor your text tool, heading level shown, and all that good stuff. Right, and then you know you can either do it unactive or you can use an active window or whatever. Right, right, and then this right here is your gallery, and then this is your non-printing characters, and then this right here is your office. This is the help. This is the help book right here. Uh, if you're you know stuck or you know you, you have questions or whatever, you can do this. And the cool thing about the help book is that. You don't really need uh, an internet connection to work on this. You, know, you can get you know whatever information you need to know, right? Because it's all inside here. Right? I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, I might be wrong, but you know what I'm saying. And then, then right here is our, our styles and formatting. You know F11, or you could click this button, and then you should your default style. You can choose from any more of these, and there's even more. You know there's all kinds, right? And then this is your your font name. Right, we have all kinds of Deja Vu Sands, and then this is your size. Right here, and you can choose, you know, all the way up to 96. I mean, that's gigantic, but I normally say somewhere between 12 and 14. Right, and then this is your bold, this is your italic, and this is your underlining buttons. And then these right here is your align left, your centered, your right, you saying your justified, which is, you know, pretty much then your numbering, and then your bullets, and then you decrease the indent margin or you can increase the indent margin right and then this right here is your color for your, your font color you know thing for, for whatever color you want your letters you can do it also with your highlighting right and you can also do the background in any color you want right and it even gives you a, you know a number it even tells you right down here what color it is that you're looking at you know what I'm saying magenta or whatever right so, you know, no fill is the one I usually go with Right, and that's your basic, you know, those are the tools, that's your toolbar, these are your basic tools and stuff that you can use for this. Alright, now, me, 
uh, uh, I use this tool a lot because I write a lot and it's pretty simple how to use it uh, let's see let's go back to uh, I got the paintbrush on I think uh, I got the paintbrush on let's see how did I get the paintbrush on there we go double click back okay so uh, just to give you a type very well. Uh, mm. Finds you in high spaces. I'm good. That's those your base, you know, and then now you can do one of many ways. You can either, you know, right click. If you right click right here, you can clear all the direct formatting, or you can change the font if you want, or the size, or the style, or the alignment left, right. I mean, it's the same thing as using any of these tools up here. It's just a little quicker way, right? Or, or if you want to, if you, if you need to stop and you need to go somewhere, you can do Control S, and then you can give it a title right here. Let's go better to. Margaret right and then you click whatever formatting you want right here uh, this is the default right here for Linux for this Ubuntu 14.0 LTS is ODF text documents but I tend to either use RTF or text just plain text right and then you just click save it right and use the text format right okay so then now you can close it uh, oops. and you know go do whatever you need to do and then if you, you come back and you need to reopen it you can click right here and then you go up to file and then you click recent documents and there it is right there you click there market and bingo here it is and you can pick yourself up where you need to go back there where you were right now um, if you're not sure if you want to change where it is where it is in your file manager right you just click right here and then see that one saved it in my home file Usually 90 for 99 percent of the time I save them in the desktop file so you can just change it right there or you can put it anywhere you want you can put it in the filing system you can put it in the wallpapers folder you can put it in the documents folder which most people probably will you can put it in any folder you want but for me usually I, I like to keep things in my desktop so I just put it in my desktop save it use the text format right go ahead close it and then there it is right there all right okay so hey that's you know pretty much a basic overview of the Libra Office Writer tool that comes you know in the standard software package for the Ubuntu 14.04 LTS operating system. And uh, hey, it's me, Brian. Uh, once again, I apologize for the background noise, right? But it's hot. Thank you.